The Illustrated Encyclopedia of Fairies by Anna Franklin. Illustrated by Paul Manson and Holly Field. Just wondering if this, if this is the same Anna Franklin who's done the Hearth Witch <laughs> ones. But anyway, uh, and like the photos like this, you can really tell it's like photoshopped or whatever um, you want to call it. But there are some nice um, sketches as well. And like as you can see, it's just one entry right after the other. So some do have a longer explanation, some are just like two sentences so yeah so like this is like photoshop kind of cut and paste not cut and paste but like the you can tell it's different images from like different sources but yeah apple tree man so Like, they bold the name, but it's in one continuous sentence. So, Apple Tree Man dwells in one particular tree in every English apple orchard, though he is best known in the summer. Somerset. His tree is always the oldest or the one bearing the heaviest crop, and it continues, or... And then, like, the other ones, um, Aspari, a little Jewish... little Japanese fairies. So... Like, it just continues into, like, the sentence. And so sometimes you get, like, full-on, like, page images. And, like, there's no separation of letters. So that's the end of A. And then you get, like, the manuscript like illuminated manuscript kind of lettering like for B and like the other letters so so you can kind of get a mix of like different types of images like you get like the sketches and then you get like that the Photoshop type of images. So, yeah. Um, but if you do have an interest in fairies, the fae, or any kind of like person that would be under here, like I saw like Bridget was in here. Um, so, and yeah, so, Pixies, um, Parse, Mugwort, Mama Padra, So there's uh, quite a number of different, like, people, fairies, and etc. in this book. So nearly 3,000 entries. Uh, so you do get... Yeah, so you do get some good um, sources at the end. So, but yeah, if this is of an interest to you and you want a good jump off base of a whack load of names <laughs> and like a very brief introduction to the person, like I said, some are 
like one sentence, others would be a good column, if not more. Because like there's a few on this page where it takes up the whole column. That's another point of that's another point of this. It's in columns, not just straight kind of like that or divided in two. You're getting like three to um three columns per page. So yeah. Um you also have that so and it kind of allows to to add a whole lot of entries. So yeah, the Illustrated Encyclopedia of Fairies. Happy readings.